First of all, what exactly is holistic living? Well, living a holistic lifestyle means balancing the mind, body, and spirit. You can do this by buying more organic, living more nutritiously, meditating, being physically active, having a massage, and other simple practices that we will show you throughout this video. Think of holistic living like a modern approach to preventative medicine which focuses on your overall well-being by using natural healing methods. What holistic living essentially allows you to do is achieve harmony in your life in areas like relationships, fitness, finances, and spirituality, allowing you to be healthier, happier, and more fulfilled. Other benefits that people have reported because of holistic living include financial stability, romance, spiritual connection, and a healthy body. Because let's admit it, we all deal with some sort of issue in life, whether that be mental, physical, or emotional. And most of us go on with our lives thinking something isn't quite right. Too many of us keep sacrificing our lives and behaving in certain ways, even though they don't feel right to us. But the problem here is that we often lack the time, energy, or expertise to answer what is the real issue, or even to recognize that our health, happiness, mind, and body are all interconnected. This is where holistic living comes in. Holistic living acknowledges the connection between our mind, body, and soul, as well as our external environment to ultimately identify the source of our problems. It does this by considering how many factors can affect us at a fundamental level and potentially throw us off balance, and how often the symptoms are just a tiny, tiny part of the overall issue. For example, let's discuss the topic of fitness for a second. When it comes to holistic fitness, it's all about you. You, not your symptoms or any side effects. This means that before you even think about fitness, you need to ask yourself, what do you want in order to live a safe and happy life? By simply answering this question, you will start to view fitness in a more holistic way. For example, you might consider what you put on your body, what you will put your mind to, how you will handle the world around you, and how you will actually live your life. Even though you might find these answers very vague. But the bottom line is that you will be able to pinpoint exactly what you want to feel like, behave like, and live like in the future. Because by having a clear destination in mind, you are now much more clear on how to reach it. The uniqueness of holistic living is that there are no hard and fast laws. It's a journey of self-discovery, a quest to discover what works best for you and what the right mix of practices, diet, and exercise is for your body, mind, and soul. Whatever method works best for you, it's all about concentrating on what keeps your whole self in check and knowing that all aspects of your body are interconnected. For example, if you were to focus on just lifting weights to the max without concentrating on other parts of your life, then you may end up neglecting correct diet, mindset, and routine. This is where holistic living and holistic fitness takes over. Because it's all about recognizing that everything is interconnected and must be improved simultaneously for the best chances of success. Perhaps a simple routine to help you live more holistically could be mindful eating where you spend 5 to 10 minutes a day in silence while drinking your morning coffee. By doing this simple thing, you will slowly start to feel more aligned and linked to yourself. But things don't end there. Let's say for instance, you are itching to dig a little deeper into your diet routine. Even if you eat a really balanced diet, you may still always feel out of control and as if you aren't living your life's purpose. In the long run, you might end up asking, why am I doing this? How long do I need to do this? Again, let holistic living do the work. So, in order to pinpoint and find more about your life's purpose, you could journal on a daily basis. Also, you could try out five minutes of affirmations per day. Because the bottom line is that you want to find out what blocks you have in other areas of your life by doing some, what we like to call, inner child work. Holistic living, fitness, and healing are more than just a woo-woo concept. There's a lot of scientific evidence to indicate that our mind and body are connected. We all know that a poor diet can affect our mood and that depression can manifest itself into our bodies as different issues like disordered eating. 
According to research, meditation is a very holistic solution because it has been shown to drastically improve the physical body as well as our minds. This results in our nervous system coming back into the right balance. So, in a simple nutshell, if you want to live more holistically, take responsibility for your overall well-being. And be active in your approach to daily wellness and recovery in order to keep the body in balance. Your daily wellness and recovery routine needs to cover all the factors that can affect your body's health and balance. These include posture, microbiomes, climatic conditions, diet, exercise, rest, stress, toxins, purposefulness, sexual well-being, and more. These factors show how you're connected to your environment, which most definitely plays a big role in your optimal health. Take for example, traditional medicine and a doctor-patient relationship. In this doctor-patient relationship, the doctor collaborates with the patient to investigate how their body is interacting and treats each patient as an individual person. On the other hand, if we were to compare this with holistic wellness. By practicing holistic wellness, you are essentially collaborating with your body in order to help it heal itself, self-regulate, and achieve overall vitality. Now that you know what holistic living is, let's get to the real question. What are the actual benefits of holistic living? Well, living a holistic lifestyle has many advantages. Firstly, it promotes mental well-being by reducing stress and anxiety. It also helps us retain more energy and strength in our physical bodies. And, on a more spiritual note, it supports us in pinpointing the real cause behind the issues in our lives. So, by living holistically, you will most definitely see an increase in your self-awareness and be able to better align yourself with your truest, highest self, as some would say. This will ultimately allow you to begin living the life you truly want and deserve. And that is not all. There are just so many benefits that we could spend all day. But in a brief nutshell, here's a list of other benefits of holistic living that may interest you. These include emotional and physical well-being, on an obvious note, improvements in your relationships, good stress management, high productivity levels throughout the day, decreasing your chronic pain, improved environmental awareness, personal development, and finally, spiritual growth and progress. Even though you may not be much of a spiritual person, but some methods that can help you achieve your holistic living goals include meditation, green living, and organic medicine. When you perform these holistic living exercises correctly, you can reduce the severity of your sickness and pain, increase your physical and mental ability, feel at ease, and yes, boost your lifespan. Yup, you heard that right, holistic living can help you live longer as well. The most important thing to remember is that holistic living can help everyone, regardless of your age, capacity, life circumstances, or beliefs. This way of life can heal your body, reconnect you with your spiritual side, relax your mind, and most importantly, keep you healthy. Even though living a holistic lifestyle may seem like a big deal, but it really isn't. Holistic living simply means that you need to incorporate items that work for you, are available, affordable, and that you are comfortable with. Because like we said, it's all you. Holistic living is all about you. As a bonus, here are six things that you can start practicing to live more holistically, starting from today. Number one, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is all about living in the present moment. Meditation, breathing exercises, and affirmations are all good places to start. You will feel more grounded when practicing these mindfulness exercises because you are refocusing your mind, body, and soul and shifting your mentality significantly. Number two, stress management. Stress is one of the most important aspects of our modern lives. While stress is an integral part of our lives, but chronic stress is unhealthy. It has an effect on our minds and emotions but it also causes inflammation in our bodies, which can lead to other problems. A simple way to deal with stress is by discussing the areas of your life that cause you stress with a counselor or someone you trust. Number three, make better food decisions. We all know 
we should eat better and that some of our choices aren't the healthiest for our bodies. This is why, by being more deliberate and conscious of what you put into your body, it can have a significant effect on your body and mind and help them to heal naturally more quickly. Remember, more fruits, less sugar. It's that simple. Number 4. Self-care is essential. It's important to take care of yourself on a regular basis. Listen to your body, learn to tune in, and recognize when you need to relax or recharge. Take a break if you need one. Because self-care will help you take your health and wellness to the next level. Number 5. Consider holistic medicine. Exploring all solutions from vitamins to energy healing will provide you with a larger toolkit to draw from when you're in a pinch. Working with plants, learning about various healing modalities, and putting new techniques to the test will all help you to keep expanding your consciousness. And last, but not least, number six, movement is essential. Let your body move in any way that feels good. Go as softly or as vigorously as your body allows. Take your body's cues for what you need each day, but get moving. Make it a habit to move every day, whether it's by walking, dancing in your kitchen or running. So, all in all, whether it be medicine, living or fitness, just make sure that you make it holistic. By practicing the simple tips and strategies in today's video, you are already well on your way to living holistically. If you have any experience with holistic living, then we would love to know your experience in the comments below, as do other people. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe, and we will see you in our next video.